Hey there, welcome to Pepper Geek. In today's video, I'll talk about seven purple pepper varieties. Now, if you didn't know this, there's a lot of diversity in the world of peppers and purple coloration is one of the coolest in my opinion. So I wanna go through some pepper varieties that have a purple color to them. And if you wanna learn about even more purple peppers, or you want to get seeds for one of these peppers, check out our article on peppergeek.com, which I'll link down below, all about purple peppers. Now, before I get into the varieties, the reason that purple peppers have their purple coloration on both the foliage and the peppers themselves is thanks to something called anthocyanins. This is also known as the purple pigment because it's a pigment which causes things to turn purple, and it also happens to be a powerful antioxidant and is found in a variety of different fruits and vegetables. So the first purple pepper you can grow is the purple beauty bell pepper. There are a number of different purple bell peppers you can grow from the Islander variety to the Lilo variety, but the purple beauty is the one that we've grown in the past, and it has a gorgeous deep purple to it. Now, like most of the varieties on this list, the Purple Beauty Bell is only purple when it's unripe, but eventually ripens through to a deep red color. In our experience, this plant didn't produce much of a yield. Even for bell peppers, we only got a small handful off of our plant, which was grown in a five gallon container. So if you're looking for the highest possible yield from your bell pepper plants, this may not be the best one for you, but it could add some interest if you're growing a bunch of different bell peppers, maybe throw one or two of the purple ones in there. One cool trait about this pepper is that the inner flesh will be bright green, when it's unripe and the outside has this deep purple, making for a beautiful contrast in your salads. The next purple pepper you can grow is the Chinese Five Color. There's also the Bolivian Rainbow, which is a very similar variety, both of which go through a beautiful color transformation as they ripen through to red. So you'll see purple, cream, yellow, orange, and red on your plants, usually all at the same time. Now, these are mostly grown for ornamental purposes, but of course, like any pepper, they are edible and they happen to be spicy as well, making them good for dried powder or maybe hot sauce. The plants are also on the smaller side, making them perfect for edges around your garden or growing in small containers. The next purple pepper I consider to be sort of the king of all purple peppers, and that is the Pimenta Denied. This is a natural hybrid between a capsicum annuum and capsicum chinense pepper, resulting in pretty much jet black foliage. It's some of the darkest pepper plant foliage I've ever seen. And this variety has been crossed into a number of capsicum chinense varieties, creating purple super hots. Perhaps what's most fascinating about this variety is that it doesn't ripen through to a red color like most of the other peppers on this list. Instead, it just stays purple, making it really hard to know exactly when to harvest the peppers. The easiest way to tell is to actually open up some of the peppers and see if the inner flesh is green or purple. Once it changes from green to purple, you know the peppers are ripe. But again, it's one of the most beautiful plants with really dark foliage and branches purple flowers, and basically jet black fruits. It has a medium heat to it, so not overwhelmingly hot, and a pretty mild flavor, just somewhat sweet when it's fully ripe. The next purple pepper you can grow is the Buena Mulata. Now, this is basically a cayenne pepper that happens to be purple before it ripens. And in our experience, it wasn't really a stellar plant in the garden. The yields aren't that great. The plant's overall size isn't that large but it is definitely pretty to look at. They're definitely easy to grow, so if you're just looking for something with some visual intrigue to it that you can maybe use to make some hot sauce, then the purple cayenne or buena mulata is a great choice. Now, if you wanna grow the best tasting cayenne pepper, we did a video where we compared seven different cayenne varieties, finding our favorite. If you wanna watch that, I'll leave a link to it right up here. The next purple pepper variety you can grow is the purple reaper. Yes, that's right, there's a purple variant of the famous Carolina Reaper. Now we grew this a couple of seasons ago and it was one of the most vigorous, tall, sturdy, strong plants that was in the garden that year. It's got gorgeous dark foliage and branches, purple flowers, and of course, purple pods as well. The transformation on these already sinister looking peppers is pretty breathtaking. They go from this deep, almost black color through to a molten red color in the end. The yield was also fantastic from these plants. So if you're looking for something super hot, maybe you wanna make some really spicy hot sauce, then the Purple Reaper would be a great choice. Other super hots that also have some purple coloration, the CGN 21500, that's one of my personal favorite peppers of all time. The Pink Tiger and the Peach Reaper are all great options. The next purple pepper you can grow is the Purple UFO. I think we grew this in one of our earliest seasons and it was just a gorgeous plant. Very, very productive. One of the earliest peppers to set fruit in our garden that year. And the fruits are sort of shaped like a UFO, I guess. More like a spinning top, if you ask me. 
but they start off as a gorgeous, vibrant purple color, eventually again ripening through to red. The heat level is sort of medium, coming from the capsicum annuum species, right up the middle, so it's perfect for making milder hot sauces or for drying out and making homemade powder. And another purple pepper you can grow is the black pearl. This variety won an All-American Selects Award back in 2006 for its gorgeous ornamental qualities, from the black foliage to its natural shape that forms without any pinching or pruning, and it also has purple flowers and jet black berry-shaped fruits. Over the course of the season, the ornamental value only improves as the peppers begin ripening and pops of red start to appear all over the plants. In our experience, there were also very few problems with insects or disease. These plants just seem to be very resilient, and of course, they're gorgeous. I will say these plants aren't all that practical if you're looking to actually use your peppers. It definitely is more on the ornamental side, but it may be worth it to grow these alongside some flowers in a beautiful potted arrangement or around the edges of your garden beds. Again, if you're interested in seeds for any of these varieties, we'll leave a link to our article on Pepper Geek down below where there are links to seed suppliers for all of the types I discussed, and we cover a few more purple pepper varieties in that article, so take a look. Let me know which purple peppers you've grown in the past and enjoyed down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching Pepper Geek, and I'll see you next time.